That's tabarak alladhi bi yadihi al-mulk. Wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. And he's in complete control over all things. So when something is good, uh, you know, there's khair. When there's in- increase, more increase in good than you expected, then that's, tabar- uh, that's uh, you know, tabarak or barakah. Allah Azza wa Jalla is saying, the one who controls all things, all things has the power to bring good out of things like no one else. So you and I think the world works in cause and effect, physical cause and effect. I do this, then this happens. I do this, then this happens. But in addition to that, there's an unseen dimension to that formula, and that's the barakah of Allah. That empowers, and that's behind all things. So and when, when that barakah of Allah empowers something, then the results of it and the good that comes of it is beyond anybody's expectation. That's tabarak alladhi bi yadihi al-mulk. Wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. And he's in complete control over all things. Alladhi khalaq al-mawta wal-hayat. The one who created death and life. This is actually very powerful because it organizes Muslim consciousness. The first thing for us is not life. The first thing for us is death. That's the, the initial state. And we are brought out of death into life. First, the body of Adam alayhi salam is created, this dead corpse, soil. That's all it is. And then life is blown into it. Death was made first. This jasad was made first. And then life came into it. Our original state is not of being alive. Our original state is that of being death. And so life itself is an additional gift. Or the second phase of our creation. الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاتَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا So that he may test you. Which of them is best or better in terms of deeds? Which one is better in terms of deed? Not just, there's a com- comparison among each other. We are all given the same facilities. There are people that are given similar opportunities in life, and some take full advantage of them and some don't. So Allah says, He gave you death and life at the end to test you. Which one of the, which one of you does best in terms of action? وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْغَفُورُ And He is the ultimate authority, the exceedingly forgiving. الَّذِي خَلَقَ سَبْعَ سَمَاوَاتٍ طِبَاقَ the one who created seven skies, layered one on top of the other. مَا تَرَى فِي خَلْقِ الرَّحْمَانِ مِنْ تَفَاوَتِ You're not going to find in the creation of the exceedingly merciful. This is the only name of Allah that comes as a substitute of Allah itself. لَفْضُ Jalala. The only name of Allah that comes as a substitute is Ar-Rahman in the Qur'an. No other name of Allah comes on its own as a standalone. Allah says you won't see in the, crea- the creation of the ultimately merciful, the exceedingly merciful, any kind of discrepancy, tafawut. Tafawut is actually when two things have differing qualities, or they differ in quality. Something is better, something is worse. Allah says in the creation of Allah, you're going to find consistency. You're going to find creativity. You're not going to find flaw. فَرْجِعِ basar, هَلْ تَرَى مِنْ Then And turn your eyes back. Look back. And this is not just towards the sky, but in all khalq, but specifically the sky, which is created tibaq. Look around at the sky. Did you see any crack? Futur. Futur is like, you know, a crack going down. Like a vertical rip or a tear, that's called futur. When the, 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 the length of it is more than the width of it. When a tear is like that. You'll see any crack, any tear, any blemish in the sky. ثُمَّ ارْجِعِ الْبَصَرَ karratain. Then turn your eye back the second time around the same way. يَنْقَلِبْ إِلَيْكَ الْبَصَرُ خَاسِئًا Your eye will turn, come back to you exhausted. And خَاسِئًا actually you, means to shoo away something. Shoo away, like your eye won't want to work with you anymore, it's exhausted. وَهُوَ حَسِيرٌ And حَسِيرٌ is another word for exhaustion. You know how we did عَيِّيَّ 